We're oh always hearing a lot God. about artificial intelligence, and last week Google's AI team announced a huge leap when it comes to quantum computing. Their new computer chip called Willow said to now calculate in less than five minutes what would take a standard computer 10 septillion years to complete. And I don't know anything about this, but I know that there's <laughs> snacks on the set, and I'm real happy about it. The new developments could have a big impact on medical and scientific research. Here to break it all down for us is our Monday morning quarterback, Mike Muse. Mike, Mike always happy to see Yo, you. Yo, let's go. All right, what's so the excited? Here. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat my snacks while you explain this stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm excited, but you guys set me up so well. I Google released Willow. What makes Willow such an incredible feat in quantum computing? Let me say, as a scientist, we always thought this is a lifetime away, but the future is now. Demarco, you said 10 septillion. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a 10 with 24 zeros behind it. That is older than the universe itself. So imagine a computer being able to solve a complex problem in five minutes that would take a traditional computer the age of the universe in order to create. Wow. What makes Google's Willow chip so exceptional is the error rate. So it sounds amazing, but again, yeah. why should our viewers care about that? Oh my gosh. Why are there snacks? Oh yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get to the snacks, America. Oh, well, I know that's what we together. care about, it, it, it is snacks. <laughs> because it can solve for very complex problems in the world, like it's all for, can't, well, with the technology, let me slow down, let me, Temper my excitement. He's so excited. <laughs> because of this quantum computing technology at faster rates, scientists and researchers now can solve complex problems like finding a cure for cancer, mm. finding a cure for Alzheimer's, really taking a look at our clean energy and really figuring out how can we store solar energy that to be scaled in order to supply a whole city. Think of a microprocessor chip as essentially like this, right? The and graham the, cracker. The graham cracker. We've all worked our SIM cards, we put our new phones in, we transfer, we put that SIM chip in. Think of it like that, think of a chip. So what I had to research was what kind of graham cracker should I use in theory? Should I use cinnamon toasted? Should I use honey coated? Should I use plain? Mm -hmm. Then I had to figure out what type of peanut butter or flux or glue should I use? Mm -hmm. Should I use chunky? Should I use smooth? Should I use almond? Should I use cashew? So then you come alive. And then you have to look at the balls that you see on the microprocessor chips. Should I use raisins? Should I use M&Ms? And, 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 oh, and down. Sur down. survey M &Ms. says. M &Ms. And, then, <laughs> and then you put it all together and this is what I came up with as a final product of it. But imagine how long that took me. Imagine with quantum computing, that could have been done in a split second, and so less error rates. I'm and so, so rude. I didn't that, even share. Yeah. <laughs> and that is why the future is now. Mm. This is why Willow is so special, and this is why we're all so excited in the science and technology community, and more graham crackers for everyone. You and better use graham crackers Mike, to break that down for us. Always fun. We really like when you bring snacks. <laughs> mm -hmm.